John Bono, fellow DOS gamers. This video is about a problem that I've been trying to solve for ages. And this problem is space. And not that kind of last frontier space, but the physical space on my desk. So we all have uh, probably multiple computers because there are some DOS games that are a little bit sensitive to the speed of your CPU. So I, for instance, have three machines, uh, one for the early 90s games. I have a 386 with 30 megahertz, and this runs pretty well the games like Wing Commander 1 or Ultima 7. Um, then for the little bit more demanding games, I have uh, a 486 with 100 megahertz, and this I use for games like Doom or Doom 2 or Duke Nukem. These run super well on, on that machine. And if I have even more beefier games, uh, mostly in SVGA, like High Octane or Screamer or Duke Nukem in SVGA or Macroya 2, uh, then I would have my last, my fastest DOS machine and it's a Pentium 1 class AMD CPU with 100 megahertz. So yeah, with all these three machines, I can cover almost all the entire like early 90s, mid, mid 90s uh, area. But the problem was always, hmm, I need to kind of switch the computers if I wanted to play one game or the other because I didn't have so much space and for, for three monitors and three keyboards and whatnot. And that sucked. So I was thinking, couldn't I just take my fastest machine and make it slower? Kind of like in the 90s, there was this most slow tool, uh, but better, like, like really having the same feeling like it would be uh, like for instance a 386 and it turns out if uh, you take three different steps then you can really achieve this and um, the first step I tried out was to hook up a little switch to the pin connector of the on the motherboard that kind of changes the front side bus so by flipping the switch I could switch the front side bus on the fly while the machine is running so no no need to open up the computer and reboot or whatnot and um, so that helped a bit I mean you can go from 100 megahertz down to 75 if you change the front side bus from 66 to 50. So that was the the first step and uh, the second step that was about um, using the tool called setmul um, this disables the first level cache of your CPU and it significantly drops the performance of your computer. So um, this helps a lot. So this really brings down the, the speed of my Pentium 1 class machine to a 386. Um, and if you even combine the two, then you can really see that it brings down the speed of the computer to almost perfectly to a 386. In case this isn't enough, because for instance, Wing Commander 1 is really sensitive, you can even go and use a third method and, well, this requires a reboot, but you can go into the BIOS, disable the second level cache too. And if you do all this, then you can see that your PC is really, really um, slow, kind of compared to a early 386. Uh, but the, the pros are that now you can play Wing Commander 1 really perfectly so it's it's really the experience like it's supposed to be so now we have seen these three techniques that you can use uh, in combination or alone to slow down your computer to match the speed requirements of the specific game but why don't we have a look how closely you really get to the original hardware so i hooked up my three machines and compared it with the fast machine in the normal settings and also the slow down settings. And now we can have a look for, at Ultima 7 uh, side by side. And as you can see uh, on the top, you have almost the identical speed. And one is the 386 and the other one is the slow down uh, Pentium class machine. And on the bottom, it's the 486 with 100 megahertz and the Pentium machine. So you can see what significant difference this makes to the game if you combine all the three techniques. Now let's have a look at another game. Let's have a look at Duke Nukem. I compiled a special version that runs on a 386. Doesn't make so much sense, but I wanted to see how good the speed of my slowdown Pentium class machine was matching. 
and you can see it uh, lines up perfectly almost um, so it shows the versatility of this um, techniques uh, the same picture in SVGA you have uh, almost identical speeds on the top and almost identical speeds on the bottom uh, while the Pentium class machine is even a little bit faster than the 486 in that resolution now let's look at Wing Commander 1 which is uh, one of those other tricky games um, and here's the picture again on the top the slowed down version of the Pentium class machine versus the 386 they line up pretty well and on the bottom it's unplayably fast so you really can't play this game on this uh, speed uh, settings anymore well this is actually it um, i hope you liked it and maybe you can use one or two techniques by yourself um, yeah maybe post some comments in the section uh, and see you next time